This is only a brief insight into the brain and our human consciousness. Our lives are divided into various stages of brain development, which all of us take part in. It is these very changes that make us who we are. In its earliest state, brain growth and development begin in the womb. It is in fact one of the first developments to occur after the formation of the embryo. Though the human brain is not born fully developed, much of the brain connections which determine how we think, behave, handle our emotions, or even who we are, are developed after birth. Now, the brain has been born. After birth, the brain immediately begins to familiarize itself with its new environment. The level of connectivity far exceeds that of the adult brain. An infant's brain has tremendous capacity for adaptation and plasticity. Between the ages of 2 and 6, the weight of the brain increases from 70 to 90% of its adult weight. During this phase, memory, cognitive skills and language improve, and connections continually develop. Around the age of 10 or 11, the brain reaches its maximal volume. However, significant remodeling of volumes in different brain areas continues into adulthood. During adolescence, the brain has not yet developed a braking system. The prefrontal cortex, which is essential to such functions as impulse control, weighing consequences, and social behavior, to name but a few, is not fully developed. Limbic regions, which are involved in emotion and reward processing, are hypersensitive. Their susceptibility to high risk-taking, moody and irritable states, and difficulty taking into account someone else's perspective, can be explained by these neurological changes. Throughout early and middle adulthood, brain performance remains stable as development begins to slow. However, all is not lost, for it is at this point that we may harness our full potential use of the brain. The average number of thoughts a person has a day numbers around 70,000. Every time one forms a new memory, new brain connections are established. Few regions continue to develop in the adult brain. But neurogenesis, the formation of new neurons, continues in the olfactory bulb, which is involved in the sense of smell, and the hippocampus, which is involved in learning and memory. Dramatic gains have been shown in problem solving because of the development of expertise in people ages 40 through 60. As the brain nears 60, its weight begins to reduce and the brain enters an accelerated decline. Generally, cell death and brain loss outweigh improvement and maintenance. It is this process that gradually robs us of our mind and steers us towards the inevitable. There are 100 billion nerve cells, and each cell can make up to 10,000 connections with other cells. Considering this, there are more connections in your brain than there are stars in the observable universe.